Throughout the ages, there has been one man, ever present in all the throes, wanderings, and creations of humanity. He is known as Eugene Greco. The unheard of brother of Adam, he decided to accompany both Adam and Eve out into the world when they were cast out of paradise so as to help them survive. And because he committed no original sin, he was spared the curse and was allowed to retain his gift of immortality. After creating the first art in some lost cave, he moved on to advise the Egyptians on how to properly build the pyramids and was thus made the first pharaoh of the United Kingdom of Egypt, even though the hieroglyphic record does not show it. He then invented the boat and crossed the Mediterranean to visit the Greeks. While in Athens, he tutored, mentored, and influenced the great philosophers, thinkers, and mathematicians of antiquity. With the fall of Greece, he moved on to the Italian peninsula and introduced to the young Romans a new system of government which he called a republic. The time he spent with Jesus Christ and the disciples further enlightened him and inspired him to pursue and defend what is right in the world. His deep study of Islam with the prophet Muhammad developed in him a greater dedication towards love and peace. Back in Europe, the Middle Ages were in full swing and he set about to create what is known today as medieval culture. He alone was responsible for the songs and music of this era. He invented a type of sacred music called, at the time, Gregorian chant, after his name, Greco. But due to a spelling error by a monk who skipped the third grade, it became known to the world as Gregorian chant and wrongfully attributed to Pope Gregory throughout the rest of history. With the dawning of the 21st century, the future remains unknown, and humanity waits to see what brave new endeavors he shall embark upon next. For now, he dedicates his time towards instructing the youth of the Miami-Dade Honors College, but he was, is, and will always remain forever Eugene Greco, the greatest man on earth.